event supervisor for Mystery Architecture, so I will be the one at the Macomb County, at the big one at the college. I will not be at most of the little tournaments, the tune-up tournaments. I think I'm going to do Utica, and that's it this year. So. Um, object of the game, the kids come in, and we're going to give them a bag full of loose material, and they're going to build a tower that supports a tennis ball. Okay. Most of the material is going to be well, here. I'm going to pass these bags out. This material was something we used at one of the tune-ups. It's not going to be. This is not the material they'll get at the tune-ups this year. It's not the material they're going to get at the main event this year. So, but it's kind of indicative of what we give out. It's going to be something cheap, something I can pick up in bulk at you know Home Depot or Dollar General or something like that, or order online. We fill 88 some bags, so it's not going to be two by fours and expensive wood. But, um, the tower's got to support the tennis ball. The tennis ball has to be the highest point on the tower. Uh, nothing on the tower can come up past the top of the tennis ball. We have to be able to see the top of the tennis ball. Even if it's a quarter inch or an inch, it's fine as long as we can see the top of the tennis ball. So they'll come in, we'll give them their bag of material or whatever container, whatever we give them. If we give them a bag, they can use the bag. If we give them a cardboard box material, they can use the cardboard box. Whatever we give to them, they can use to build their tower. Um, they're going to want to bring tools with them. They want to bring uh, definitely scissors, maybe some pliers. Uh, the rules say uh, a ruler or tape measure. They don't really need that, but absolutely bring them with scissors, bring them with pliers. We're going to kind of go through the tools as they come in, so if we don't like something, we'll just set it aside. But no knives, no guns, right? No, <laughs> no lead pipes. <laughs> Um, they'll have 20 minutes to build their tower. We cycle teams in every five minutes, so at any one point there's going to be ten or eight or ten teams in the room at one time, staggered five minutes apart. So there's no partitions, they're all going to be able to see what everybody's doing, but there's not a lot of cheating, I guess, going on. Um, Everybody's going to get their own individual timer. We'll set them up. We'll start the timer. They'll be able to see the timer and know how long they have. It's not going to be a big surprise for them. Once they're done building the tower, the 20 minutes are up, they're going to bring it over to this contraption somewhere in the room. And they're going to set their tower in front of it. We're going to measure the top of the tower first without the tennis ball. Then they're going to put the tennis ball on top and we're going to measure the tower with the tennis ball on top. So they're going to have 10 seconds. They're going to bring the tower over. They're going to set it up. We're going to measure the tower unloaded. Then they're going to have 10 seconds to place that tennis ball on top of the tower. Um, if they don't get the tennis ball placed in that 10 seconds, it goes into the second tier scoring, which means it did not support a tennis ball. So. You know what I mean by the two tiers? Towers that support a tennis ball obviously are going to rate higher than towers that did not support a tennis ball. Um, if they turn the paper cup over, if they get a cup and the tennis ball sits on top of it, that's a tower that's going to beat out any tower that was 10 feet tall that wouldn't support the tennis ball. Is that clear? Okay. So they're going to bring it over, we're going to measure it unloaded. <coughs> Then they're going to place the tennis ball in that 10 seconds. Then we're going to measure it again, load it. Then after that, we're going to measure the base. The reason we measure the base last is because we don't want to touch the tower until the very end, once we get our measurements, because I don't want to knock it over. That's why we have the kids put the tower up to the contraption. We don't move the contraption around the room. There's not a lot of space to do that. Um, How long does it have to support the ball? Just long enough for me to measure it, usually about 15, 20 seconds. Including the base? Including no, not including the base. As long as I get that measurement to the top of the ball, you know, they'll have 10 seconds to put it on, and then I'll take up 5 or 15 seconds to, to measure it. If it falls over in that time, that's bad. <laughs> as long as I can get the measurement, they're okay. Um, the base, we measure the base only in case of tiebreakers. Uh, the smaller the base, the better the score is. Uh, 
the tower has to be completely freestanding when they're building it. Don't tape it to the floor. Or don't attach it somehow or in some way that it can't be actually moved later. Uh, any questions on the material? Yeah, the tennis ball, can that actually sit on top of it or any way onto the actual cup? Onto the top of the tower? Yeah. yeah it has to sit on the very top. Oh, it has to sit on the top of the tower. Absolutely has to. Uh, right side up, upside down, or? It's a sphere. Um, you, yeah. Just assuming you're having a cup on top of it. Yeah, oh. But there might not be a cup. There might not be a cup. There might not be tape. There might not be yeah, anything but, in that but material. But, there is. but I have to be able to shoot my laser to hit the top of the tennis ball. And there can't be any projections. You can't have straws. You can't have anything that comes up past the tennis ball. So, you know, if they built a cup, make sure it doesn't drop down inside the okay. tennis ball disappears. Yes, sir. Well, all the material have to be used. No, absolutely not. And then we're going to have signs posted around the room with a list of what they're supposed to get. You know, we throw 88 bags, it's repetitive. Sometimes we miss a straw or two. So your kids really need to look at their material first, check it off on the list. If there's something broken or if something's not right, they've got to tell me right away. They can't really tell me halfway into the bill. Before the time starts? I'm oh, sorry? They check the bag before the time starts? That's not included. No, it's kind of within oh. the time frame, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's the floor? Is it carpet or tile? The floor, it's a vinyl floor. It's a exercise room. It's got mirrors all around. It's like, a, it's like an exercise, a yoga room. Yes, sir. You said you're measuring the base. That's determined by the footprint or the overall the base? The footprint of the base. So if it's, if it's wide on one side and it's short on the other, we're going to take the widest measurement. So does the ball have to be the highest point of the tower? What if it, yes, what if it does protrude below the highest point of the tower? Is if the tower itself, any part of the tower itself, sticks up past the tennis ball, then that's, that's a fail. It counts as no support. Correct. It'll go into the second tier. Yes, ma'am. Will they be working on tables or will they be working Everything's on the floor. On the floor. Okay. We'll give them a tennis ball to practice with. You don't have to bring your own tennis ball. But and like I say, it's kind of tight cram a lot of teams in the room, so. So the tape could be included or not? Yes. <laughs> and for pliers, it could be anything, needle nose? Yeah, needle nose, lineman, whatever you want to bring is fine. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Now, I guess how many, did you say, I might have heard from missed it, but how many are simultaneously? I'm sure there's a bunch of teams. Up to 10 teams. Up to 10 teams. Yep. But staggered every five minutes. You know, oh, every five minutes we're going to bring a team in and we're going to cycle them back out. It's it kind of hectic. <laughs> uh, you people aren't going to be anywhere near me. <laughs> <laughs> I put my wife out in the hallway just so you can't get to me. Um, I'll be waiting for you in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I changed my shirt. <laughs> um, so maybe talk with your kids. They don't really want to spread it around what kind of material that's in the bag, give another team an advantage. You must be creative. When you're practicing with the kids, you want to practice with as much variety as possible. Um, like I said, if they do get tape, they're not going to get a roll of tape. They're not going to get enough tape to build a whole tower out of. I mean, it's going to be minimal. I think the bag that we have passed around has stickers, and that was the adhesive that year. They didn't get tape. They got a couple of stickers. Any other questions? Thank you, folks, for coming. Thank you. Good luck.